Okay, so this is the final part, and again, I apologize for the inconsistency. Um, I didn't expect you know, other people to really be seeing the video. I didn't think people would be interested. Um, so for this results that I'm going to show you is if you would have gone back and changed the inflation from all faces and chosen name selection to none. Okay, so close this out. And I'm going to open the results here. And also, for this particular calculation, because it was one of the first ones that we did based on the, um, the paper numerical solutions, liquid-liquid uh, flow, something like that, um, we had did one iteration per time step. Uh, very simple. And so let me show you guys the contours. Save display. And um, you can see here that for this method, I had already gone in and changed the uh, color map options, like I showed you on the last video. Okay, edit it. Uh, and I think actually I had moved this over a little bit to refine it. Okay. So, so this is um, how how you'll see it um, display. This is the last time step. For the solution, I'm going to show you. Um, but when I ran this one, uh, when when we ran this one before, the animation that we had done. Oops, I'm sorry. One second. Playback. Here we go. Um, I don't think this will play. Yeah. Okay. So. This is before I knew how to change the setting parameters. And so I'm going to show you guys, um, and I'm going to do increments of five just so it goes a little bit quicker. Okay, and you can see drops forming. Oops. And I've been having a lot of problems with this for some reason. It keeps crashing. Um, so this was on, this entire setup was on my old laptop. And it stopped working, so I had to get a new laptop. And um, I downloaded everything. And then my hard drive, because the new laptop I bought was only 250 gigabyte hard drive. The hard drive was getting full very quickly. And so I ended up buying an external hard drive, transferring, transferring everything over to there. And ever since then, it just I've seen to be having with this uh, problems with this file. I believe it's just... Uh, you know, not doing that great. Um, so let's try this again. Animations, playback. And let's do 10. And that seems to be working good. Okay, yeah. So you can see that's how... Um, how it should be. Now, ideally, uh, the difference between this and the other paper, or the paper that we use as a validation plan, is the slugs were a little bit bigger. And I think that comes from, um, one, they use a smaller time step, 10 to the, e to the negative 6. And two, they didn't talk about the mesh refinement, but I would imagine that they probably used some surface inflation and ran it through a um, high-performance computing uh, center. So, yeah, so let me show you two, um, one second. So um, this is a test case that I'm preparing. Um, I'm going to run it through the school's um, HPC. Uh, the mesh should be identical to the original case. Um, and, but you'll see here that I was using 200 iterations per time step. Um, if we go back to the playback and look, um, so you could see by setting up the proper camera um, and the proper contour colors, you're, you're looking pretty good, right, if you do that. Um, you can clearly see uh, what's going on and what's happening. And let's see, it should almost be done. 
should cut off. Yeah, so it was taking quite a while um, for me to do. I had to stop it when I did this, but you can see that it's it's not ideal. So a lot of these cases, you have to play with it, um, you know, the iterations per time step. Um, I, I don't know the other paper, um, the one that I showed you in the last video. I really don't know how many iterations per time step they did. It didn't, I don't believe it said in the paper. And they didn't really talk about too much about the um, surface inflation. So we're just trying to do our best to get results as close as possible. Closest we got was one iteration per time step, which obviously is not ideal because the solution's not uh, converging on uh, each iteration. And so we're just trying to play with this stuff. Um, again, if you're watching this video, you know, and you're not in our senior design group, I guess thank you for watching. And I'm sorry if I caused any of you guys any you know frustrations or pulling out your hair. Um, I really didn't expect other people to you know, watch this. So yeah, uh, that's where we're at. I um, guess if you have any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments of this. And I hope that these videos um, helped you out, um, helped you to learn something. I know our team is certainly learning as we go. And that's all the process of learning, I guess. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.